Hello everyone, welcome to another Funimation Top 5. I'm your host Dan and for today's video we're going to be diving into my top picks for the top 5 hottest moments in Fire Force Season 1. Spoilers are ahead, let's get started. Number 5, Rekka vs Shinra. Season 1 of Fire Force certainly didn't disappoint with its animation quality. As you'll see from the other picks on this list, it's super difficult to judge each moment because they're all spectacular. But for our number 5 moment, it's gotta go to Rekka vs Shinra. At this point in the story, Shinra and Company 8 are investigating other companies regarding the truth behind spontaneous human combustion, when they stumble across something sheerly horrific. The lieutenant for Special Fire Force Company 1, Rekka Hoshimiya, is not only responsible for the artificial combustions, but he's a loyalist to the evangelist. Shinra rushes in to engage Rekka before he exposes a bunch of the children that he's abducted to the bugs that were discovered to be responsible for spontaneous human combustion. Plus, Shinra saving Tamaki is so emotional. All of this has to result in our number 5 moment. Number 4, Benny Maru does his move. Okay, everybody, move to the side. The best character in Fire Force is making his debut on the list. Sorry, Shinra, but Shinmon Benny Maru, as he would like to be referred to as, has his moment to shine right now. His nickname amongst the Asakusa accompaniment is Waka, which in Japanese roughly translates to Young Master. This nickname is used by older servicemen to show respect to younger superior officers. And during the Asakusa arc, Benny Maru is constantly approached with the idea of embracing the role as leader of Company 7 and of Asakusa. So after his good friend and Lieutenant Conroe renders himself bedridden and with infernals attacking all over the city, Benny Maru shows the people of Asakusa why he is Asakusa. And when they come here to pick a fight, they're picking a fight with him. And with the whole city at his back, Shimon Benimaru turns the light of the sky crimson with his final move, in homage to his best friend Conro. Nah, you're crying. Captain, let him have it! We're all cheering for you! Come on, one more! I don't care about the evangelist or whoever you work for. Don't you dare act like you own this place! Asakusa is my town. You pick a fight here, you answer to me. Show him, Benny. You got the whole town cheering for you. I'm borrowing your move. Sorry, Conro. A sight for sore eyes. The Crimson Moon. Number 3. Arrow versus Lieutenant Hinawa. One of the constant antagonists throughout Season 1 is the white-clad soldier, Arrow. Her marksmanship gave everyone problems in Asakusa, and now, during the Netherworld arc, she's facing off against everyone's favorite disciplinarian, Lieutenant Hinawa. When all seemed lost and his defeat was certain, Hinawa cranks the heat up. With them swapping battle tactics, Hinawa has lured the villain into a situation where it's hard for her to dodge his overwhelmingly strong attacks. And the guns that he uses and the control he has, being a second generation pyrokinetic, are unmatched. He defeats Arrow using her own flames against her. I'll use her flames to make it go even faster. Number 2, Maki vs. White Clad and Flail First Class Fire Officer Maki Oze is literally the most complete and terrifying fire soldier in Company 8, in the greatest way possible. Our number 2 pick goes to the moment where she thinks that the White Clad are spooky ghosts, only to find out that they're actually flesh and blood humans and she actually kinda gets happy about that. But what follows is one of the greatest displays of martial arts in an anime that I have ever seen. Though afterwards, she's tasked with taking on the misogynistic hulk of a person known as Flail. The fight starts and Flail is given a beatdown that verbally made me go oof, as Maki cripples the entire unit with ease. <laughs> Annoying 
And number one, Shinra vs. Show. The number one hottest moment in Fire Force Season 1 has to go to Shinra vs. Show. Throughout Season 1, we're told of Shinra's little brother Show, who was said to have died in the very same combustion incident that killed his entire family. In this scene, Shinra learns the truth. His little brother, alive, stands before him wearing the white clad armor. His brother engages Shinra, and it leads to the greatest fight to close out Season 1. I literally just can't wait to see what's next. But that's going to do it for this edition of Top 5. Don't forget, you can stream Fire Force on Funimation right now. This is Dan, signing off. Until next time, Funimation faithfuls.